Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Quips here. Quips does stuff. I'm back here in Grounded for the first time in a few days. I've done uh, a lot of phasmophobia stuff recently. Um, that has been one of my main preoccupations. Um, now, you may notice this isn't exactly where I left off. Um, well, something just slammed into my window. Every now and again a bird hits my window. I don't know why. It's not even like the curtains are open or anything. I think it's just the way the sun comes in at exactly the right angle to make it look reflective. And they think this guy there. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I, at the end of my last video, said that what would really help would be if I took a save game, loaded it, went and fought some things, and every time I died, loaded it, and just kept doing that as practice. Now I did that, and then I accidentally screwed up and saved over my original game, but I haven't really advanced much. I think there's like one spider and one ant difference, and maybe I went to the lab or something, but it wasn't much. So, you know, my house still looks the same as when I left it off. I finished the walls and no roof. Um, yeah, a few other bits and pieces, but mostly it's the same. I've just advanced a little bit and that was by accident because I screwed up the save process like an idiot. That being said, since it has been a few days, um, I've been doing some experimentation in Phasmophobia. You'll find the videos on the channel if you're at all interested. Trying to work out how to get footstep photos in Phasmophobia. It's been incredibly hard. I've come to the conclusion that the game is bugged. It's not me that that current part of the game is just broken. Um, so yeah, go watch those if you're interested. They're good. Um, I did a lot of editing, which I don't normally do. I normally either do things live so that I don't have to edit, or even if I am going to edit, I basically just slap the, uh, the the intro section of my video onto the video, and then slap an ending thing onto the video, and that's it. But in this case, I've actually because. Okay, there's two videos, and in each case, I spent more than two hours actually playing Phasmophobia. And then from that two hours, I made two half-hour-ish videos. 31 and 35 minutes, I think they are. So they're pretty long, but... Um, yeah, they are almost scientifically researched videos. Trying to work out exactly what one has to do. That's a gnat. I thought you didn't get gnats over here. Uh, what one has to do to get footstep photos in Phasmophobia, because that's been incredibly hard, and a lot of people have complained about it. And a Twitch streamer that I watch sometimes said, Ah, oh, I should do a video on that, and I thought, Hmm, I should do a video on that. That would make good content, and is sort of suited to my lower skill level. So I went and made a video on that, and, uh, well, spoiler alert, after four hours and two videos, I have no conclusions. I don't know. I think it's just bugged. <laughs> it's not a, it's not, you know, um, that us, the players are doing something wrong or there's no sort of mechanics that we aren't privy to that's making it hard to elucidate what one should do to get footstep photos. If you don't play Phasmophobia, this is all just a bunch of nothing to you. But if you do, then you sort of understand. And yeah, if um, if you understand, then you know that, yeah, phasmophobia, getting footstep photos is really hard. But if you don't play, then it means nothing to you. Oh, I might be able to cheese it. That's good. These guys I've found aren't terribly hard anyway. They seem to have something kind of wrong with their choice of distance. They get that wrong, like they um, have a charge attack, and when they charge, they don't charge far enough. 
So we'll take the three stink bug parts because. Oh, I thought I broke three of them, but no, he still screwed it up, so that's fine. Yeah, he's got a thing that sort of unsticks him sometimes when he's stuck on terrain. He will try to back up and walk sideways. Luckily there for me, it still didn't entirely unstick him, but, you know, he could have. And it could have killed me, but it did. Gonna need to make a new one of these soon. So, um, I read that gnats don't actually hurt you, they bump you. So it kind of looks like they hurt you because your character model moves and stuff like that, and your character says something and makes noises, but they don't. They just bump you a little bit. So, yeah, not to worry. Can't die from gnat bites attacks. Won't happen. Yeah, they're just a little pushy. Right, um... So I don't think stink bug parts gives me anything much, but what I do know is that one of the things that I don't have, haven't achieved yet, um, is acorn armor, which would make a lot of these fights that I find difficult easier. Um, and with acorn armor, I can then move on to... I'm gonna need to research those at some point. I can get rid of a lot of this extra crap in my inventory. Uh, with acorn armor, I can move on to maybe trying to kill a ladybug eventually. Apparently it's still hard, but it is supposed to be totally doable. Um, I've almost got everything I need for ant armor as well, so... I don't know, maybe that's something I should be doing? There's a few things I should be doing, um, and I'm not really doing any of them at the moment. But, yeah, we'll work it out, we'll work it out. It'll, it'll come. It's just going to take time. Um, it's my lava blade. I should use the rotten one until it's done. Keep those on me so I can research them when the opportunity presents itself. What do I need for the other piece of ant armor? Is it lava sacks? I don't think it is. Acid glands, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so apparently they're actually ant lava. So there's a place in the ant colony where there's just billions of those. Um, it's a very dangerous place to fight them because... <sighs> Excuse me. Because hundreds of them, it's not a good idea for a fight. But I should be able to make these because I've got acorn shells. I've got mite fuzz. You can get clover leaf, that's for sure. And I definitely can get sap, so... We just need a bunch of acorn shells, really. How many acorn shells do I have? Well, there's nine. Uh, it said something about mite fuzz. Uh, and a lot of rope, wasn't it? Was the other one a bit of sap? Find me some sap. Must have plenty of sap. Oh, here's all the sap. Right. Face mask. Make one. Chest plate, I need more clover leaf. Do I have clover leaf here? I do. Uh, crew rope, I need one more. No. I need a lot of those. Didn't I just see that I had a whole bunch of those in my inventory? Oh no, I just used them to make the face plate, didn't I? <laughs> that was silly. Two, three, and four. And I can make that. Well, now I've got a full set. So now I might as well equip the damn things. Can you double click to equip? You can. Cool. Cool. And that one and that one. Nice. Right. Uh, now we can get rid of everything I don't need. Such as that clover leaf. Uh, extra sap, extra mite fuzz, extra acorns. Got one more petal here that I don't really need. Do I keep these? I don't think I do. I think I just drop them, hey. Goodbye. You have served your purpose well. Now I don't need you anymore. Um, 
make sure that I'm using that one, not the other one, so that I can use that one up. Um, and I don't need this petal. I've got petals and I can get more petals. I don't really need them. I need to go and get these analyzed. And I need to eventually find and take on a ladybug. Um, nearest lab is the lab, I think. Now, there's often a wolf spider at the front of this lab as well, which is a bit of a bugger. Um, but, on the plus side, just occasionally he is stuck. And you can take the opportunity to um, cheese him because he's stuck on some terrain. Uh, so not all the time, not often, but it does happen. So, uh, And of course, some of the time you can just find your way into the lab without even seeing him, so there's that as well. And I can never remember where the damn analysis machine in here is, but there is one. There it is. Hmm. I do want an insect hammer, that's another thing that I need. Jerky rack. I think again that's something that I kinda can use and kinda don't need. I still haven't been down here yet. This is like quite a large area and there's um... If I remember correctly, no way back up. Not actually sure about that. And I don't know what's down there so I don't want to go down there just yet. Um, I want my tier 2 tools before I start diving into unknown areas, basically. Um, I don't have tier 2 tools yet, I have tier 1 tools. And when I have tier 2 ones, then I might consider just sticking my face in things that don't concern me and seeing if I can walk out alive or not. Like in here. I'll tell you what, in this case it can just get away with a quick save and then you can walk in and see what it is. I was pretty sure that there's supposed to be a wolf spider in here somewhere. Maybe only when they're asleep and when they wake up they leave and go somewhere else. And they're supposed to be nocturnal so they should be here during the day, not at night. I mean, they might be there at night as well, but you'd expect to find them during the day if they're nocturnal. I think they're nocturnal. I've only ever encountered them at night. Like, by accident. On purpose, I've encountered them other places, yes. Right, so supposed to be taking on a ladybug now. That's really what I'm up to. I'm going to do it with this dagger too, which is, you know, a worse blocking utensil, but... Oh well. Let's have a quick squiz, actually, at what we can craft now. New tools. Insect hammer. Oh. Oh, gas arrow, All right, stink bug, gas sack, and arrows. And you can make gas arrows. Supposedly they're good. Hmm. Hmm. So I need a ladybug head, and I need silk rope. I think I know how to make a thingy, and getting silk isn't impossible because you get that mostly off orb weavers, which I can kill or know how to kill. That shouldn't be impossible, but 
difficult because I've got to get ant mandibles. These guys are pretty easy. I don't know where to get that yet. And I do know where to get that, but I haven't got one. So you get that off the bombardier beetles. And a jerky rack. Uh, jerky, jerky never goes bad, but while it restores health, it also makes you a little thirsty. That's not too bad. It takes a lot of bombardier parts, though. It's kind of the opposite to that. I need this as well. I really should make this. So apparently this is pretty good. Oh yes, I did do some research. I hadn't done that before, but I went and actually read some things and, you know. Do I know where this lab is? I don't think I do, because it's not that one, and it's not that one. What is that? Abandoned anthill. Oh yeah. Sort of been down there. I think there's a, um... A, um... Wolf spider in that. Alright, so we're going the wrong way to get closer, so it must be this way? Maybe? Yes, I appear to be getting closer, so it's over here somewhere. Keep our eyes open, there's just grubs so far, but you never know. didn't see what it was. I think it's just lawn mites. Is it lawn mites? I thought I saw one over here for a second. Yeah, I think it's just lawn mites. We should be alright. Yeah, if you can't see what it is that wants to kill you, sometimes panic running just seems to be the right thing to do. cool that he can hit me and I can't hit him, but I won't. Well, we sorted that out, didn't we? <gasps> spade Gulch! Is this Spade Gulch? Is that another Bombardier Beetle? It frickin' is. I don't really want to have to deal with another Bombardier Beetle, but this is probably Spade Gulch. There's a marker down there. He was right here. Where'd he go? There he is. Alright, so what do I have to do? Do I have to rebuild the marker? Is this bombardier beetle going to attack me from up there or what? That looks ominous as well. Yes, I do. So I need sprigs, plant fiber, and clover leaf, and I have none of those. Plant fiber is easy enough. Sprigs should also be relatively easy. Yeah. Clover leaf might be a bit different because I don't see any clover nearby, so I might have to go for a bit of a wonder and find some clover leaf. At least I kind of know where I am inside this little group of stones. Cool. Yeah, see, that's definitely something I could have looked up on the wiki. Where is Clove, uh, Spade Gulch? And I didn't. So, um, again, mostly... I mean, I looked up a few things about combat because, God, that's just holding me back. But if it's not holding me back, then just actual proper as the game intends exploration is preferred. There's some clover. Gonna need a new one of these soon. Right, I might grab a little bit of this because I have a feeling that the whole point of this is to sort of wander around and find a bunch of these points and it's going to lead me somewhere. Best guess. So a bit more plant.
plant fiber, a few more sprigs, if I can find them. Okay. Oh, it's just ants. Alright, well, what if we take on these ants? Let's see what happens. Because I currently actually have a thing where I'm supposed to be killing worker ants. Closer. I'm supposed to be trying to use this up. Damn it, these lawn mites. Can't even see him half the time. Now him on those Oh that's new and interesting. Hope they don't attack me. Looks like he wants to, but he can't find me. Oh, he sort of can. Oh, he's got range. keep him aggroed but at the same time not get too close and not get stuck in that it lasts a long time too it's not a quick thing oh, now his aggro's dropped which means he'll be back to full health again Killing him while he's on that's going to be really hard. Oh man. Yep, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I might die, I might not die. Got it. Cool. And I got that boiling gland I was after. I can't remember what that was for, but I needed it, didn't I? Right, the ants never got through there. Do I want this? Yeah, why not? Let's give it some sort of marker. Alright, that leaf and it's green. That's Spade Gulch. Now I know where Spade Gulch is. There's still one pissed off ant. Oh, that's because they're after these. Alright, there's a lot of them now. Maybe now I want more. But I might want to go through those acorns. I'm not picky. That was refreshing. Let's try this. All right, Shadow. Am I tripping or is there something behind it? There is something behind it. Kind of expected that. Do I want to know? <gasps> What's that? this. That doesn't appear to be anything. It's an underground fuel station. And grubs. Oh, 
Science! Bombardier head. Oh, yeah, that's just a. Don't have a lot of torch left. Quartzite. I don't need any more quartzite at the moment. Don't have any way to make a new torch, do I? Do I? Sap, I don't have any sap, I don't have any dry grass chunks. We better get out of here before my torch runs out. I mean, I could go forward, I did see the slime mold. Oh, there's a way down as well, is there? Hmm, interesting. Alright, so I don't know what this area is about, but clearly there's more going on here than I was led to believe. And it's getting dark, might be time to head home anyway. Where is home? Over that way. Where is the tree? So we better head a bit more towards the tree as well. Oh, that'll just be lawn mites in the dark, I'm almost certain. So I'm not going to worry about that, we'll just run. This rotten lava blade, which is the one I found, um, that's actually going to run out soon, so... But that's alright, I have other weapons. And in fact, an entirely different lava blade in my inventory, so... We should be fine in that regard. But yes, I need to gather the materials I need to make a new torch. I might use this one until it breaks. Just because... I don't have stuff cluttering up my inventory. Along here. Okay, good. I thought he was going for my food. Hmm. Bombardier head mount and stuff. Bombardier, right? Cool. No worries. Um, still after this. How do I get silk rope? That'll be under utilities. Spinning wheel. Acorn top clay. Aha. I have not seen clay. If I have, I didn't notice it. Uh, what about a smoothie thing? That's under meal prep, isn't it? Smoothie station. Yeah, grub goop. I could totally make one of those. Insert any three items to craft a delicious smoothie. Any three items? Do they have to be food items? Like, how does this work? Ooh, got too many ant parts now. That's a new one. Even more storage by the looks of things. Maybe I'll make my first big one and I'll put it inside my house. If I can find where the door is. Uh, okay, it's not actually a base building piece. It must still be a utility. Storage chest, so it's expensive. But it's supposed to fit more stuff. Um, I want to keep it away from the walls because I've seen other people have problems where the ants just get at it through the walls. So we'll put it sort of here-ish. What did I even add? Nothing. Takes a fair bit of crap, that. Right, acorn shell. Yeah, there's a bit of that. Not a lot. I can 
dump acorn bits. Oh no, I thought it was nectar. Pollen, I mean. Sap, wasn't it? And what? Clover. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that's big. That's much better. Can drop a whole stack of stuff in that. Keep those, I can eat those. Oh, I should have saved it for the morning. I'm about to go to sleep because it's night. Oh, I could be messing with the smoothie station. I'll do that in the morning. I'm ready to eat my pillow. I'm so tired. So there's supposed to be specific recipes and then other recipes. So let's see what happens if I put that and a mushroom and a mushroom. Uh, smoothie question mark. Used in question mark. So wait, what, can I research it? No, it doesn't have the research thing on it. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Alright, that did nothing for my what's his face. Maybe it's a health thing? Alright, need two of those to finish off. And now I have no food in my inventory. Oh no, I've got a couple of mushrooms. Let's eat those. But I'm definitely gonna have to go looking for some food. What else have we got? Spoiled meat. Wonder what happens if I put spoiled meat in it. Let's find out. One, two, three. Could work. I don't know. Apparently it can. And I get the same thing I got before. What about... Oh. Hmm. I suppose it's a good way of getting rid of crap then. Anything you don't need, you just turn into a quick smoothie. I still don't know what, if anything, these do, and I need more of those now. So I need to go and find somewhere where there's sap. There's plenty of sap around the tree, that's for sure. I need more regular food as well, but there should be honeydew all over the place, because there's always honeydew all over the place around here. I've discovered I can't reach that spider. It's just I, I can't get at him anyway, so might as well leave him be. He's semi amusing to look at. Can go past him every day and go, hey spider, what you doing? And the mushrooms I can just eat as they are, aren't they? Let's just mung that down then. Try and get my health up. Once again, I could look up what smoothie recipes are. But again, I'm going for the... Uh, trying to discover things for myself. Approach. Although I could also try sticking three aphids in a smoothie station and seeing what happens. Um, I could also just eat them, but, you know, could try sticking three pebbles in it and see what, what happens. There's all sorts of things I can try. I was going to say, I can hear something, I can't see anything, it's just grubs. Grub? Could dig out a grub. Grubs are good eating. Where did he go? Here somewhere. I suppose I can't dig him out of wood, can I? Even though that's where he is. Aha, you can. Alright, good. Then we can go back and cook this and get a full belly and then we can go looking for a ladybug. Ah. Oh. Well, that's not fair.
he's gonna get stuck on terrain you should stay stuck on terrain you shouldn't suddenly get off the terrain right at the moment when I'm trying to hit him what was I after sap need to find more sap there's lots of sap around there there's some it's aphid honeydew, that's not sap, but that's alright. Sap clump. Crap a load of plant fiber. You don't actually need that many of them, so oh yeah, that'll probably do for now. Complete marker at Rake Rock Point. So is that all it is? It's just you've got to find it and build the marker and so that you've got a marker. And now I know where that is. this line around the place and they take forever to go away so might as well throw them in smoothies no you can't shift click you gotta click and drag all right doesn't have any so that's all right we'll use that to make one what about an aphid and an aphid and an aphid honeydew about spoiled that and an aphid. No. What about some grub, some sap, and a stone? No. about a full set of armor? No. About a petal, a stone, and a sprig? No. Eh. Didn't find anything. It's kind of amusing though. Right, I needed to make another torch, so I need sap. Dry grass. Do I have any dry grass in here? I do. Q. Ladybug. I could go back to that and go looking and see what the rest of that is. Because there was another way down and there was another bit that I couldn't get past because I hadn't yet broken it with my axe. No, hammer, sorry, hammer. But um, I didn't because oh, I was going to cook stuff and I didn't cook anything. I just that was silly. Is that a new stink bug? No, that's just that. Okay, going again. Um, I need to cook one of these aphids for max food. Max food sounds like a person. I'll take those out. I'm not picky. So I can. Oh no, you can eat things just from the inventory, can't I? So no, it is better to have them on the quick bar. I will. Oh. Give them credit for getting away. All right, we'll try and get three more worker ants. Now, I know there'll be a couple of worker ants somewhere around that vicinity, and maybe the bombardier beetles respawn, so I can try and get another one of those without dying. That'll be good. Maybe I don't know. I, I might need the parts. I'm not even sure if I need the parts, but. I might need the parts, so 
and give it a go. And if none of those things happen, we'll explore further with a fresh torch. Right, so there isn't one to have a fresh torch, however. Take that, vampire! And, you know, bugs and spiders and stuff. Need a one-handed weapon. Let's try further down first and see what happens. I think... No, I don't have anything on me. That's right, smoothies, and you can't research smoothies, so that's alright. No, this way around the rock. Ah. Oops, no. Oh dear. No, not going to swim through the dark. That's not my idea of fun at all. So we just won't do that. There is some sort of underwater lantern, um, but I don't have it. I'm not sure how to make it. I'm just aware that it exists. was stuck, he's got stuck in the wall. Oh, and there's more than one of them. Okay. Oh damn, there are a lot of lava. Oh man. Broke. Okay, so he good. runs. Oh yeah, it's instant health. Cool. Okay, I do like that. Right, so that broke. And that is slightly worse than a real one. Not by much, but it is. So we can, I don't know, keep it, drop it. Do I throw it away? I think I drop it. I don't think I need it. Not if I can make him. I didn't get more lava. Oh yeah, I should definitely be able to make a full set of ant armor after this. I don't know whether I still need it, but it could be worth it. There's a lot of quartzite down here. Still haven't seen anything called clay. Don't really know where to get clay or how to get clay or... what I'm going to do with it. I have no idea what that noise is. That doesn't sound promising at all. Make a run for it. Ah! Oh, it's another lava. That's all right. I can kill another lava. You should just die now. You've been poisoned. You should die. Okay. Well, well, you know, I can chase you down and get you. And there's another one over there, so let's go get that one as well. Oh, what? Poison. Yep, we go. Cool. That'll work. Eat another smoothie for some quick health. Yeah, that's that's really useful. I like them now. I still don't have anything I can freaking eat. I've only got one lava 
head out of all of that. That was a lot of lava to kill to only get one of those. Right, so interesting. So it curves around and comes back up and I end up here? Where's here? Nowhere special, just close to that leg. Hmm. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Perfect. It's really hard to get perfect blocks if you don't know the timing of the animal, but if you do, you can get that perfect block off. Alright, so that's where we were. Um, I still haven't seen any more ant workers, but there were ant lava down there, so it's good to know. They probably respawn periodically, one would assume. There's grubs down there if I need them, although I won't because there are grubs near the, um, the tree right where I live. There's mites here. Again, I know a better place for mites as well. Maybe not better, I know an alternate place for mites. It's about the same, really. Meals out. Those to be cooked. Let's go back, I'm sure I've got crap in my inventory that I no longer need. Man, there's a lot of lawn mites. Where did he go? Yeah. Alright, going through any of these fence gaps is always dangerous because there could be a spider right there that you just can't see. Is that underground lawn mites? Oh, it's above ground one might, so well, who knows. I'm going to make a run for it. Ah, uh, charge. <laughs> and all this nectar is free food, so we'll eat that. I should try three aphids. I haven't tried three aphids yet. I think I have enough aphids to make try making a three aphid smoothie. And then some. No, I don't. Okay, I've got a gnat though, so we'll cook and eat the gnat and we'll try a three aphid smoothie. Nothing. Ah, oh, that sucks. to stack these things actually on top of each other so they stack stack you know like stack on other things of the same type before we start filling in empty holes but then we can fill in empty holes all right I might be able to make the ant armor now and um, which okay I'm wearing the acorn armor which is pretty sweet but the full set of ant armor is supposed to let you go down into ant holes without worker ants attacking you although I think the soldiers do or no I think even the soldiers don't I think it's I think that's the whole point because workers don't attack you in the first place so what do you reckon it'll be ant heads and ant parts and maybe some fuzz and maybe some uh, rope decor bombardier head mount uh, workbench gear ant arm guards craft clothes should be a full ant set so let's put that inside my chest when I'm not wearing it and we'll wear it now and we'll go looking for an ant mound I think I know where one is about three aphid honeydew does it do anything 
got aphid honeydew, and I've got nectar. Let's take all of this out and just convert it all into smoothies. I don't know what else I can make. I'm sure there's more things I can make. I've got more quartzite than I need now as well. Even more slime mold stalks. Let's see what happens with. I don't even know what those are. Aphid honeydews. No. Is this nectar? That's nectar. No. One, two, three. I have no concept of how this works and how you find recipes. It must just be experimentation, I guess, but yeah. It's going to take me a long time to find anything, if ever. Uh, so I'll put my acorn armor in my big chest. Should really make some use of these as well. Should make some roofs. First time. Kill. Hume ant. Start a second floor. Start a second floor. Let's at least set the blueprints for it. Why not? Grass floor. I didn't really think that through. It's going to take a lot of grass, isn't it? Oh well. Still perfectly viable, you know. It's just going to take a lot of grass. Like a lot of grass. Um, it's getting dark. I don't think I need to do anything else during this day. I think we will just go and start gathering grass. said I still need to kill two more worker ants so I'll take those opportunities when they are presented to me. Five of eight. Oh I can carry more stuff because I'm an ant. Ooh, I didn't know that. I just picked up five things and ran. Oh, I'm gonna need stairs, aren't I? So I need to cancel at least one or more of these so I can work out how stairs actually work or fit into the construction. Grass stairs. Well, that's not gonna actually let me up onto the next floor. That is, but it's gonna be sort of weird. So let's put it there. So get rid of that one. Oh, but that's in front of the window. Let's not put it there. That's also in front of the window. That's not in front of a window, let's put it there. Perfect. Uh, and then we can put these back. Let's rotate them so they're at least going in the same direction, if not exactly the same as the other ones. Do you hit your head? I don't know. I guess I won't know until I build it. I might make that the next piece of construction so I can sort of tell if you hit your head or not. 
and I can carry eight bits of grass. That's just cool. That's actually good to know. So if you're doing construction work and you are going to have to be carrying heaps of stuff, you might want to put the ant armor on, not for the defense, just for the carrying capacity. Hey there, buddy. Did you not notice me smash your bloke, your mate, to bits? Fair enough. Mutation detected. So that's in the status. Okay, so that didn't get any better. I don't know what I have to do to make that better. Apparently it can be made better. Cardio fan. Exhausting your tiny body over and over again. Your cells adapt to more efficient respiration process. Cool. Don't know what it does. Gonna give it a go. I was wondering if I could break both blades of grass at once, but it doesn't look like I can. That's only six, now I feel ripped off. fully exhausting my body as a result I've learned this thing this mutation and now I'm guessing I've got more stamina I don't know I don't understand how it works mystery mechanics who knows what they do one two three four and then we'll do the one that you can actually stand on so that I can see how this works Ooh. Up and down the stairs. Cool, hey. Right. There's still enough daylight left to do a bit more of this. I suppose I could get a bow and I could kill that guy. Maybe. I don't know if he'd stay aggro long enough for me to kill him or if he'd de aggro and regain all his health. So I don't know if things regrow, but I, the way I figure it is if I keep chopping the stems down as well, if they do regrow, then, you know, it's probably going to be best that I've done that too. I don't know, but I'm hoping, guessing, guess hoping, goping, hessing. Anyway. So yeah, unlike my normal live uh, plays of this game, this one is going to be recorded because, well, I don't know, maybe there's, there's, there's positions for editing fun. Um, I'm a reasonably funny person. I'm not very funny live unless I've got someone to actually interact with. Uh, and then, you know, I have uh, quips and, and puns and so on and so forth, some of them some of them the kind of puns that you just sigh at. Hey there, buddy. Some of them not. Um, and yeah, uh, I don't get the opportunity to do that. But when responding to myself with an editing program, you 
can have some fun. One can insert memes, um, find humorous anecdotes. Uh, yeah, just assorted things. You can find humor with the ability to edit a video. Much easier than you can just produce it on the fly. Well, I can. Some people can do it really well. Um, a stream deck is amazing, like just having a bunch of keys that you can press on will to produce sound effects or insert particular videos. Um, the one that comes to mind is uh, Andy Farrant for Outside Xbox does Morgan Mondays where he plays Red Dead Redemption 2 every Monday. Um, and he has a whole bunch of stuff. He didn't used to do it like this. I think it's actually he's coming to his own since COVID has forced him inside. Um, but since COVID has forced him inside, he's got all these things on his stream deck that allows him to react to the situation. So, for example, every time... Okay, slight spoilers for Red Dead Redemption, but Dutch is crazy. Like, the dude is... is not with it. Uh, and if you played Red Dead Redemption 1, of course, you probably know that as well. But the dude is mental. Um, so every time in the game, in the story, Dutch does something that's like weird and unexpected. He's got a little... Uh, oh, what are they called? Sting? I think they're called a sting. Well, a sting's at the beginning and it's a real short intro kind of thing. This isn't really a sting because it's in the middle of the show. But it's kind of like a sting anyway. That's like, this is what Dutch did. That's a strange thing Dutch did. Yeah. Um, and he does have stings as well. So every time he changes his clothes, which he does a lot because he thinks dressing up is one of the best things about Red Dead Redemption 2. And I have to admit, I'm a bit of a fan as well. There's so many different kinds of clothes and so many different colors. I would at times spend time dressing up my Dutch, doing his hair, doing his mustache, doing his beard, doing my uh, uh, Arthur, sorry. Um, so he's got a fashion sting. Uh, my favorite one, though, was his... It's like a spoken word rap. Or... Um, if you remember The Streets, the rapper or rap group. I'm not even sure if it was a group. I assume rapper because it was only him that ever did it. He was kind of a rapper, but kind of a spoken word artist. Um... It's very much in that vein, and about how much he hated Guama. The Guama sting was fantastic. Just, <laughs> yeah. So Andy's done some good work. Um, I can't be the and only one they're all tired. things that he can just hit on his stream deck to bring up at appropriate points. So whenever something happens that, you know, uh, that's a good spot for that particular sting, or a sting in general, um, he had it right there in his stream deck. So... I can see why people use them. They do appear to be quite advantageous in those specialized situations. Right. Um, I need food and I need water. Tastes so good. Water's easy enough. Food is not as easy, but there's lots of aphid honeydew around the place and there'll probably be an aphid along any moment now. Or that weevil. Come here, weevil. sorted. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make breakfast when you are the size of an ant. I'm about the same size as the ant. I've sort of had a look at them and I'm like, yeah, I'm about the same size as a worker ant. Not any bigger, not any smaller. So there are other things coming to this as well that I've talked about. So there's going to be a passive called the bee. Well, called the bee. Passive bees. So uh, passives mean they can hurt you if you try to hurt them. Oh, neutral. No, neutral. Passive would mean that they run away like the weevil. Um, but yeah, so there's going to be bees. There's going to be a queen ant. That's the one that I think is going to be the coolest. Because a queen ant would be gnarly. Um complete marker at rake point. Do I go in and get new stuff from Burgle? I think I go in and get new stuff from Burgle at this point, don't I? I need to work out if I can make a gas mask yet. I probably can already. 
I don't actually know. I don't know what other bits and pieces I need. I haven't really looked. The spider's been missing for a few days. I'm worried he's going to pop up unexpectedly and get me killed. It does feel like I've got more stamina than I used to. I appear to be winging around with much less uh, effort than I was before. It is nice to see a the friendly face around three bold quests. Ooh, analyze spider venom. Um, I think that still drops from what's his faces, orb weavers. Stepping Stone Summit. Alright, well I don't know where that is yet, but I'll take it because it's what he's given me. I might be kind of stuck on those for a while. I don't know how much science I've got either. I have a lot. Um, now, Torch Upgrade. That was one that I heard about and wanted. This Meat Shield thing is another one. But 5,000 is a lot, and it'll be a while before I get that. So I want to buy this, because it makes me a better torch. It is nice to see a but if you have any extra raw sight. No, it doesn't put anything new there. Okay, that's weird. But... Torch Plus replaces torch. Is it the same torch, or is it... I can't remember what the previous ingredients were off the top of my head, so I don't know whether that's a, the same ingredients or not. Um, oops. Just one sap is not exactly hard to get. Um, a couple of dry grass chunks, I know where to get those when I need them. And I need to go and find orb weavers to kill. And I know where to do that too, so... We'll uh, go and grab some dry grass quickly. Uh, actually, I can do that on the way to the orb weavers, or around where the orb weavers are, can't I? Oh, no, I can't. Wrong side of the fence. Um, I'm wearing my ant armor, which would probably be preferable if I was going into an ant mound at the moment. Which I'm not. Um, so that could be something that I yeah. could look into changing before I take on these spiders. Let's grab this dry grass though. Somewhere over here will be sap. Could consider making one of those sap collectors. I don't know how they work exactly, but. I assume you attach it to this and there's always sap. And you needed the one sap, let's maybe not even do anything. Let's craft that. See if it replaces my existing one? No. Well, let's just throw my existing one away and put the special one in the thing. Go and change armor, do some inventory management. Uh, what else was it I needed to make? I need to make. Ah, oh, I've already forgotten. I'll have to just look through crafting and see if I can find things worth making. And we can start constructing things inside the house now that there is an inside as opposed to an outside. So I want these back and I want to put those away. And is there anything else I want to dump in here now? Might as well dump that in there because why not? That in there because why not? I'll keep those on me because I might eat them later. Construct. Meal prep? Yeah, kind of want to make that. Kind of don't care at the moment. Food's not hard to come by in easy. Spinning wheel. Everything but clay. Sap catcher. Let's make a sap catcher. Oh, I don't have ant mandibles. Um, hmm. Need 
silk rope and I need a ladybug head and I can't get silk rope because I can't get <sighs> that until I find clay I don't know where clay is so I might have to keep looking for clay um, don't know where that is Hmm. Spider fangs. Now I'm pretty sure those only drop from wolf spiders. But I'm not actually sure. I just think so. Let's have a look. Defense that high. Eh? Defense pretty low. What do these do? Max stamina. That's not heaps good. It's lower than grub armor. Wow not realize that okay so acorn armor is pretty high not as good as oh no it is better than grub not as good as spider that makes sense though gas mask not heaps good but would let me go into that hazardous spot I can make one of those now I should make one and keep it here for when I decide I'm gonna go and do that So, pretty sure there's mite fuzz in it. There's a weevil thing in it. There were stink bug parts in it. Can't reach it through the window, can I? That'd be nice. No, no. Might need to deconstruct one of these and put a door on that side as well. Stink bug parts. Was it boiling gland or a stink bug gas sack? I don't know. I could move my workbench inside. I might do that after I try and construct this. Then I will deconstruct this and then move it inside. Need gnat fuzz and crude rope. Crude rope I can make. I need gnat fuzz. There should be lots of that right here. Gas mask. Cool. With me at the moment because I don't need it at the moment. I can just dump some of this extra stuff in here. I'm going to start moving things inside and making more of those hardcore chests anyway. Right, let's uh, yeah recycle this. Don't fall in the pond, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we want one of these on the inside. Utility workbench construct. Put it over here in this corner. What am I missing? I need two more grass planks, one sap, and one sprig. Sap. Sprig. some of these things that I've got. If I remember correctly, it's just quartzite. So, repair one quartzite. Repair. Done. Uh, can't be repaired. Oh, it's because I've clicked there. Escape. Inventory. Click that. Uh, repair. Two quartzite. That's alright. It's just two quartzite. What about this? One quartzite. I didn't really need to waste a quartzite on that, but oh well, I did. Too bad. Two grass. Oh, the crow's over there. Just wondering why the background was going so weird. Um, and then we'll go kill spiders. For a bit, anyway. I was going to say, I was pretty sure I left a few bits of grass stacked here.
Maybe I should make a bow. I don't know. Kind of feels like I should. B. Oh, B just does that. Okay, you're not interesting. I was wondering if there was multiple quick slots, quick bar slots, so you can actually change to a different one. That'd be cool if you could change to a different one. I think these are starting to decompose, which is a shame, but that's all right. All right, move my workbench inside. Let's move other things inside that should be inside, like uh, this. And eh, no, let's not. Let's go fight that spider. Should be one over there. There he is. Hopefully he doesn't summon his mate. And me and you can mano a mano. Let's go. Bring it. Perfect block. He's got this three hit combo. It can be hard. But if you get it right, you can. Oh, no. You can, um. You get three goes at perfect blocking him because he's got three attacks in it. And if you sort of get the timing of the first one wrong, you've got a chance to get the second one. And you've got a chance to get the third one. And yeah, it has its uh, things. I don't think I picked up Spider Venom. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> you really screwed that up, buddy. Perfect block. Not a perfect block. Not a perfect block. Nope. Ah, oh. oh, he's webbed me. Smoothie. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Uh, let's take down some of this web because free web is not to be sneezed at. Okay, that doesn't do anything. I bet you I'm going to be struggling to get web later. Now, I still haven't got any spider venom, have I? No parts web. Maybe they don't drop off all beavers. Maybe they only drop off um, wolf spiders, which is sucky because wolf spiders are a bit too epic for my liking. They're not impossible, they're just very, very hard. Tell me you're stuck and I can cheat. I'm going to be able to get close enough to cheat. Yeah, see? The big problem is, can I get close enough to hit him that he can't hit me back? Oh no. Well, this is not ideal. And I'm out of stamina, so I'm not going to be able to run away. Maybe I am. Let's try and run away. Let's see what happens. Can I get clear? How long is their aggro range? Sound is dropped, I'll take that for a yes, you can get clear. There's a bunch of nectar that we can consume for some FUD. Food. Um I'm not picky. F U umlaut D FUD. Right, and again, this is where the bow would come in handy, everyone tells me. Well, the internet tells me, because then you can pull 
one rather than multiple spiders. Um, yeah, it's good for getting spiders away from their buddies. Now that one's gone over there, so maybe I can get this one to come and get me over here. Come on, you can see me and stuff. Oh, and you've done it again. Cool. Oh, no, he can attack me and I can't attack him there. Perfect block. Perfect block. Not a perfect block. Not a perfect block. I was going to say, you should be knocked out cold any second. Oh, I've got no stamina, that's why. So I'm really bad at managing my stamina, that's the problem. Now, I've got a lot of spider chunks and a lot of spider webs and no venom. So... Spiders were bad enough when they were the size of my people. Up ahead. Yeah, that went really, really well. Maybe I'm getting better at this that game. That was refreshing. Wasn't really sure. Lots of spider webs, lots of spider parts. Still no spider venom, so I'm guessing that it does come from a wolf spider, and I don't think I'm quite ready for that. Despite being better at this, I don't think I'm wolf spider levels yet. Hey, a sprinkler. I've never walked through here before because there's been so many spiders, but now that I appear to be the spider master, There's the sprinkler. Well, there's lots of dewdrops around a sprinkler. That's good to know. Oh, not that I need anything at the moment. Um, there's lots of these little flooded bits. I have seen... I think they, they're water fleas. I'm not sure. I think they're water fleas. Now let's follow the fence and see what we can find. Maybe there's some cool stuff. So yeah, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing now. Um, although if I find a ladybug, we can do that, because that's another thing. But um, yeah, clay would be nice. I don't know what clay looks like. It looks like quartzite. That's clay. Okay, so that kind of solves that problem. All right, shadows. What you got now? Is that it? Alright, looks like there was another one over there. Oh, there's a bit that got away. Is that one? No. Another one over here? Oh yes, and a lava. Multiple lava, in fact. Oh, lots of lava. Way too many lava. Definitely smoothie time. Swinging three times and hitting nothing, never good. God damn. There's an unexpectedly large amount of lava. Am I like near that? Oh man, look at them all. Alright, well, this is where you go to get clay, but Jeebus. 
Watch out for the lava. The floor is lava? No. I haven't actually watched that show. Um, it's just another take on um, on um, on several other similar game shows, uh, Wipeout uh, and the like, which are mostly all derivatives of Takeshi's Castle. So is um, Fall Guys. If you're playing Fall Guys and liking it, congratulations. You are playing the video game equivalent of Takeshi's Castle. If you haven't seen Takeshi's Castle, put that into YouTube. You'll find some Takeshi's Castle. It's a, if you ask me, actually mean Japanese game show. Um, Bombardier Beetle. I will take this on as well. I have a death wish. Oh, cheesable? Not quite. Oh dear. Alright, well. Why did it look like I had no armor on then? Did I have no armor? Did my armor break? And I did not notice. Tastes good. spare weapons but I can maybe make myself a spear or something on the way or I need some stones some of this and some and a sprig pretty sure that's all it was tools piblet spear two sprigs some plant fiber and a piblet map indicator for your bag? I thought it would. Maybe only when you get close enough. Something pushing grass over there. It's probably a stink bug. Yeah, don't know why that stink bug had it so easy. I don't know what happened. I've never seen them carrying food before. Good to know that they can, I guess. Oh, there'll be heaps of lava around here, won't there? I want to get to my bag without having to deal with lava. weird noise so he's definitely still there isn't he can I get in and get out he was kind of stuck on terrain cool no there's nothing wrong with my acorn armor don't know what happened I just got minced Stop it. I'm not in the mood. Uh, yeah, because running away is the normal response to being hit in the butt. I suppose it is for some things, just not everything. Yeah, see, their attack pattern doesn't... is not conducive to blocking. That one's all right. No. Come on, he must be nearly unconscious by now. Oh, I hadn't seen that one before. Good. Cool. 
cool. Yeah, it's getting dark, I need to get home. So there is a lot more clay here than I thought there was, but that's alright, we don't need that much clay. I've got some clay, which I didn't have before, which means I can make a spinning wheel, which means I can start spinning spider silk, which means I don't know what else it means. It means other things, I'm sure. Um, there are things I can make I couldn't make before, is the hope and assumption. attacking me. I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm going to the wrong thing. That's that. Why am I going to that? Where is my house? My house is all the way over there. I need some lunch. Oh, I didn't get it because apparently my inventory is full again. Great. Just great. Don't ask me why I dropped into that accent. Oh, don't come this way as well. All right, we'll have to go around him. Haven't seen a ladybug in a long time. It's been a long time. I was trying to do a Gladys there. I didn't really hit it in the slightest. I don't have any sort of synthesizer to adjust my voice, and I'm not female, so that's going to be a really hard one to hit. She's so cool. I'll definitely dump that off. Let's see, is there anything else I can dump on top of things in here so that they stack? Uh, put my ant armor away. Sounds like a crow again. Oh, cool. Don't normally get that good of a view at him. Right, I'm going to get hungry momentarily. So we're definitely going to have to do something about that. Got nothing but this pollen to eat. And that's not going to do it. I know I've got some aphid honeydew as well. Alright, there's lots of space. Screw stacking things on top of each other, we'll just use all this space. Alright, that'll do. I can consume that? Oh, apparently you can't. What was that for? Oh yeah, that's for, um... Oh, there's the other acid glands. Alright, take them back and then back and put them on the right places. For now, I've got even more of these things that I can eat, so we'll just eat those. I'm not actually cooking anything, but that makes a nice light at night. <clears throat> it's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, so this game not as conducive to editing and adding cool memes and funny jokes. Um sort of been thinking about it and now that I've thought about it for a while I'm like well no it's not really <laughs> I, I, I don't see places where I could do much so very likely I just will be um, ant parts, sap and crude rope I'm trying to remember all of those things while I go through my boxes I more than likely just will be dropping it straight into a into a, uh, uh, a file Uh, what else? Oh, the clay. And I can make the crude rope. Yeah, sticking my intro video on it, sticking my outro screen on it, and calling it a day. Construct. Uh, I don't know what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right here, it doesn't need to take up too much space. Nicely. Need to make four ropes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to create for kill. I can spin these. It takes forever. What does it make? Rope. Well, that's just a bloody waste of time, that is. I wasn't expecting that. Supposed to be moving stuff inside. Let's move stuff inside slowly and surely so we can get rid of those outside ones. Might even start making a new one tomorrow. Can I cancel that? I can. Cool. Okay, that's good because that's a waste of time. I can totally just make those in my inventory much faster than that. Let's grab all the spider web I've got and bring it inside. Jeebus, I've managed to collect a lot of that. spin spin oh they only take one at a time as well so it's super efficient too that's pretty cool I thought it was gonna cost like six or seven web to make one silk strand or whatever it's called I don't even know what it's called um, let's make myself some indoor torches that would come under deck core wouldn't it crude ropes two need four of those then because it'll make two of them and a couple of slime mold stalks I don't think I've got any of them indoors no I don't tell you what ah oh, couldn't even empty it I've got so much crap let's construct a couple of these uh, under the window I mean, ground height is nice because it. Let's make. Yeah, two. Let's put another one there. Because these seem to have the problem of. Um, they don't throw light very far, if you know what I mean. Like, that's almost useless. <laughs> oh well. Spider Venom. How to get Spider Venom. Don't know yet. Oh, yep. Didn't dump anything in the chest yet. Should be doing that. And there it is. Hard to find in the dark. Got one spare dandelion tough and it's degrading. I don't know whether it's supposed to do that. I was under the impression that's not how those worked, but you never know. Maybe I'm wrong. I might just throw that one away, to be honest. Mushrooms, I can just make smoothies out of those. I don't know why they're in there at all. I get free mushrooms every few days. Look, more of them. Can you cook mushrooms? No. Yeah, I did that before, didn't I? And yes, you can't do that. One, two, three, craft. One, two, three, craft. Eh, whatever. Oh yeah, anything you don't want, regardless of what it is, you can put it in a smoothie station. Uh, take all. Recycle. Take all. Go to your smoothie station. Put... Oh, it stays there as well, that's kind of handy. Anything else I don't want? I'll keep those. I might be able to make a new freaking chest out of them, to be honest. What? No, that's under utilities. Storage chest. Let's make another one of these. Right in front of the first one. That'll work. Dump anything in it that I don't currently need. up faster than I thought I was going to, but oh well. There we go. Take some of that sap out. 
apply that to that and then put it back. So now the only thing I've got in my inventory that's extraneous is some extra rope, but that's fine. We'll probably find a use for that rope soon enough. That'll do for now and we'll go to sleep. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm beat. Top in the morning. Drink that was refreshing. Do you look for an aphid or something? Come hither so I may brain the For, a, for dessert. I've already forgotten what else I need. Acorn shells. I should have more acorn shells. <coughs> no, I've used all my acorn shells. Alright, well, I know where to get acorn shells. Let's go get some acorn shells. Wouldn't think this would be high priority, but yeah, my base um, logistics are starting to annoy me, so I'm going to have to deal with it. Three acorn yeah. shells to make one freaking thing. It's a good thing you get lots of them around here, otherwise that'd be really yeah. annoying. Yeah. You end up with way more acorn tops than you need too. I'm gonna stop keeping them. I might throw them into smoothies. dandelion top smoothie while I'm here. I'll leave the extra one in there because what else am I going to do with it? Acorn bits, why not? Gets rid of the rubbish very successfully. Eat my aphid roast. Rub time! Ah. <laughs> Need one more acorn. Spiders, but I don't need to now. I'm not going to get any science for it. And I don't really need any ant parts. I have a lot of ant parts as is. I imagine they'll change that in the future. Because having that just be, oh yeah, you can make smoothies out of anything, is um, silly. Oh, all my spider web finished. That's pretty cool. I need to, what's his name that as well? I think there's something else I need to, yeah, clay. Let's take a piece of clay and we can go and thingy that. Now, what did I need spider silk for? Sap catcher? No, that's ant mandibles. Hmm, don't think it was anything to do with this. Meal prep? Jerky rack? No, that's that. Tools? Ladybug head. Okay, so I've got that. I still need the ladybug head. Alright, that's probably what it was. I don't see anything else really, unless maybe... 
I can make some pieces of... No, because I just need berry leather. So even if they needed silk, I don't know where to get berry leather yet. What about grub leggings? No, they don't use it either. I don't know why I'd want want them. Increase maximum stamina. Yeah, you don't really need stamina. It's not the bow. Yeah, so I think that's it. I basically need it for for that thing that I said, um, the insect axe. But all right, we've got it. That's good. Um, let's take one. You never know. I might die and might decide. Nah, I'll just leave it. Um, we can go to the base base. That's a quick and easy way to find a research lab. Go to the Oak Lab. The Pokemon Professor Oak Lab. Obviously it's not, but... Hey, I remembered not to press C. That was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, it has the... It's called the Oak Lab, because it's underneath the oak. And I think it's only underneath an oak, because... They wanted it to be a reference to Pokemon. I don't know. That doesn't make huge amounts of sense. Um, but maybe I could be right. Spider Fang Dagger and an insect bow. Ooh, is that a bit of bow as well? Not expensive, they might be worth doing. Always happy to see a repeat because three bold quests. Oh. oh, okay, so you don't get new ones if you've got three. And I don't think I've got I enough raw science if you have any extra. for anything. No, 230. Fortified bases, so you can make. Uh, yeah, better walls. I see. Hmm. Hmm. I need that ladybug. That's what I need. I need that ladybug. Everything changes when I get a ladybug head. I could also put my ant armor on and go and look for ants. Um, I'm not sure if I know where the main ant mound is, but it's if you sort of follow the ants from the strange machine, the place where my original base was, you can kind of find the ant mound just by following them. You could also put on a gas mask and go into that other place. Or I could just wander around aimlessly for a while and see if I stumble across a ladybug. That's possible.
need that axe to get that crow feather. I need that ladybug head to get that axe. Oh. Wasn't actually trying to find the machine. I just sort of happened to have stumbled my way back to it. Not hugely surprising. It's a relatively big thing and it's kind of central. Um, but yeah, now where to find a ladybug? That's a whole other story. This is the mint container, but I don't know if there's any mints you can actually harvest from this. Supposedly there is. Maybe it's from a different kind of mint from somewhere else. But um, yeah, these mints are supposed to do something. Somehow, there's supposed to be a mint hammer. <gasps> Ladybug. Ladybug and a spider. Can I get the spider to attack the ladybug? That'd help. like there's going to be another spider. Yeah, there's more than one spider. So I think what I'll try and do is I'll try and kill the spider and then we'll take the ladybug. And yep, he's totally stuck, so... We'll take the free kill. Noises they make. It's so cute. Spider chunk, spider webs. Alright, are you stuck? Because that'd be awesome. If I can also just cheese a ladybug. Yep, get to cheese a ladybug. Cool. I'll take it. Head, ladybug parts. Ladybug. Ladybug. Uh, I think there's ladybug armor. Hence ladybug parts too. Um, I should be relatively near. Yep, I'm looking right at it. A um, science station where I can do the research on these bits while I'm here. Ladybug chest plate. Cool. Alright. Now I definitely have to get home and we can make this thing. Wow. 500 centimeters, so... To scale, that's like half a K away. I think. How big are ants? Ants are like a centimeter to two centimeters. So it's got to be pretty close. Because I reckon I'm pretty close to ant size. It's just spiders, so I'm not interested in that at the moment. What the hell makes that noise? Um, the saying I've already forgot. Doesn't matter then. Um, oh yeah, scale. So ants are like one to two centimeters. That's about right. Which means you're about one to two centimeters, which is about right. Which yeah makes scale distance traveled. 
one centimeter about one meter so it's about 500 meters away which isn't that far um, in the old days before vehicles and public transport etc etc people used to travel up to three kilometers just to get to work can you imagine walking three k's to go to work and then doing physical labor and days were longer people would work like 12 hours and then go home and then they would still clean the house and cook and man people used to get so much more done with their time than we do Oh, again, need spider fangs, damn. Again, need spider fangs, also need spider venom. I'm relatively sure now that you can only get those out of a wolf spider, made from wolf spider fang that poisons on hit. And yeah, I'm not confident that I'm gonna be able to kill wolf spiders. Bombardier parts, I'm almost certain I've got enough of those. Woohoo! So I assume that replaces my original ax. might spin some web while the opportunity presents itself because it takes too long otherwise so I'll just leave that spinning since I can I was wondering what that was making that noise that's the spinning wheel right yeah, more spider chunks I've got one more clay here that I don't need to be carrying I no longer need this gone. I can go find things I can break with a level 2 axe. Isn't this one of them? Need any of these? <laughs> um. It will make constructing uh, stronger bases when the opportunity presents itself much easier. I could try and make a pallet. What does it cost to make a pallet? Some rope, some almost nothing. Let's make a pallet. I can totally just have a pallet. Some pebbles, some dried grass chunks, and some sprigs. I've probably got all of that in this chest. Pebbles, sprigs, dried grass chunks. Ta da! How do you. Geez, stack. <gasps> it's amazing. That I couldn't have made this thing before, it's just, you know. It'll be a while before I need um, to go looking for any stems again. Oh. <laughs> One to spare. It's filled it and then some. Go get some grass. Can do a bit more construction. What else can I chop down? I can't remember what else I need this for. There were more things that I needed this for. 
What else breaks with this and doesn't break with anything else? I don't remember. Two swings. Oh. Still two for that though. Could have put on my ant armor. I might go back with this three and grab my ant armor while I'm there. Also need to find something to kill to eat. But yeah, that shouldn't take me long. Awesome sauce. Right. Getting there. Might move that inside now. It's made of so few things. Let's put it over here in this corner. That's a utility called a lean-to that goes like that. Cloverleaf and one sprig. Should have the, both of those in here. Oops. Uh, yes, yeah, set my spawn point. Now that my spawn point was destroyed, I need to reset it. And then I don't need. Oops. Don't need that or that anymore. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we'll leave these things out here because they're all cooking stuff and that doesn't matter. So, yeah. Not too shabby. Well, we might call it there. That is a, a nice solid two hours of Grounded. Um, I've managed to make some progress, unexpectedly. Um, I've gotten better at fighting, so it is just a matter of practice. Uh, so I will say that what the people on the internet recommend, if you're having trouble fighting the big things, um, don't take on wolf spiders from the start. Uh, work your way up, start at orb weavers, things like stink bugs. Stink bugs are actually pretty easy their AI is a bit wonky at the moment if you just keep backing away from them they tend to attack the place you just were and miss you not always um, lava I find to be one of the more difficult things to actually fight uh, I haven't taken on soldier ants yet so they could be a different story but yeah um, make yourself a single player save game get some basic armor together um, you don't have to go all the way to acorn armor I was practicing in clover armor Make yourself a reasonable weapon, preferably at least this club. This club is good, or if you intend to practice 
one-handed weapons, maybe practice with a spear or the bow or whatever it is that you've got. Um, and yeah, learn to practice the perfect blocking. You don't have to get every one if you're on easy, like me. If you're on medium, it helps if you can get every one. But yeah, just make yourself a save game where you're looking at something that hasn't aggroed on you yet. Go in and fight it. And then once you've killed it or died, load and do it again. And don't, like me, accidentally destroy your save game by saving... Oh, no, I actually deleted it. So what I had was I had so many auto saves and old saves and stuff, I decided I was going to clean up my save directory. And I deleted a whole bunch of saves and then realized I deleted my current save that was the save that was before I fought anything and hence before I... Um, yeah, the save that was right at the end of the last Let's Play, which was a live show. Episode 3, episode 2, whatever. Um, yeah, so don't make that mistake. Make a save, remember which save it is. Um, I don't think you can name saves. Let's make a new one. Save. Create new save. Can I rename said save? No. Yeah, so if you could name saves, that might help. Playthrough B14E? What does that mean? Oh well, whatever. Yeah, don't don't mess up your saves is the only thing I will say. So when you um, reload, the game automatically makes a logger out save for you, which will be the save after you just fought the creature, whether you lived or died. Um, so don't use that one. Use the one that should be directly below it, which would be, I assume, your manual save, since I'm encouraging you to make a manual save, then go and fight something. Get the practice in. Makes the game a lot easier. Um, so thanks for watching guys, hope you liked this video, if you did hit that like button, if you would like to see more of my content hit that subscribe button, if you'd like to get notifications when I go live or when I upload a new video, hit that bell icon, and if you didn't like the video hit that dislike button, that's what it's there for, but if you do hit the dislike button I would appreciate if you could leave me a comment, let me know what it was about the video you didn't like, so that I can improve in the future. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.